Hi, this is Amy, and I'm wondering if you have ever had this problem. You want people to fill out a form, but some of the responses you want to control. For example, um, we do webinars, and sometimes we want people to get a certificate for the webinar, and we would like to pre-fill a code for them that would allow them to fill out the webinar for a brief period of time and then turn that code off. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate a pre-filled form. We're going to put the title of our session in here. Everything that we can put in for the recipient, we're going to put it in, and then we're going to let them just type in the part that they need to type in, like for example, their name. So the first step to this is to create the Google form that has got all of the questions on it that you want to have answered. And the next thing that you're going to do after you've got your form completed and it all looks good to you, I would recommend to you that you go ahead and try filling it out yourself first. Sometimes that uncovers problems that you don't notice until you actually do it. Um, and to do that, you know, you can always just use this preview eyeball and you can fill out your own form and it will look to you exactly like it's going to look to your recipients. Uh, once you've done that and you're certain about your form, then you want to go to these hot dogs inside the form and you want to go to get pre-filled link. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put in the answers that we want our recipient to put in. So for example, right now this is our code for this webinar. This is the code someone would have to have had to get credit for this webinar. So we're going to go ahead and type that in for them. Now we can't pre-fill their email address, their first name, their last name. They're going to have to do that. But we're going to do all the rest of this. How many hours was the training? What was the topic? What was the name of the training or the event? And in our case, it's Google Things You Might Have Missed. We're going to also pre-fill the date for them and the trainer name. All right, now that we have filled out everything that we can in the form, we're only going to leave blank what our participant has to fill out. Then we're going to click Get Link. The last and final step of this is going to be to find this little gray bar in the bottom left hand corner and click copy link on that gray bar. Now we have got that link on our clipboard. We're going to open up an incognito window and see how this is going to look to our recipient. So I'm going to right click and choose paste and go into the omni box there at the top and then I'm going to notice that look at that my code is already filled in. All I have to do is click next and I can now type in my personalized information. I could even pre-fill it with what pops up in Google Forms and the rest of it is going to be what was typed in from the pre-filled form link. So I hope that makes sense and helps you do something that you've been needing to do. And uh, so have a nice day.